Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how you can make a process to automatically start when the server reboots. Some processes like Nginx or Apache or MySQL get pre-configured or get set up automatically to start the process on server reboots. But suppose if you are making a process or maybe a bash script which you want to run as a process and that process should get started automatically when the server reboots. So let's see how we can achieve this. So in this, I'll be taking an example of TeamCT process. TeamCT is a CI CD tool and I want to set it up and run it as a service. For this, we need to have the script ready and we need to put it in etc init.d and I'm giving it a name TeamCT. So I already have this script present here at this path and this is the content of the script. So here I'm specifying user as auto. So I want to run this as auto user. And I want to start the process using this command. And I want to execute this particular script, which is present in opt tc agent build agent bin. And the script is agent.sh. And to this script, I'm giving the argument start. So basically this bash script will start the process of team city when we give the argument as start and it should get stopped when I execute the same script but when I give the argument as stop. So this init script is simply starting and stopping the process. So that's the first thing we need to do that is to have the script inside atc init.d and then we need to make the script executable using the command sudo chmod plus x and the script name. So let's make this executable using the command sudo chmod plus x atc init.d teamcd now next thing is we need to have default start and default stop lines to specify the run levels where we want to run the service to start and stop. So in our case we want to start it at run levels 2, 3, 4, 5 and stop it in run level 0, 1, 6. So run level 0 signifies system shutdown, all services are stopped and the system halts or power off. Run level 1 is also known as single user mode. This run level is used for system maintenance and recovery. Run level 2 to 5 are multi-user modes and are typically used for normal system operation. The run level 6 signifies system reboot. Similar to run level 0, all services are stopped but the system reboots instead of holding or power off. So as you can see, the default start and stop are already set here. So we don't need to change anything much here. So once we are done doing this much, all we need to do is enable the service. To enable the service, we need to run the command sudo update rc.d teamct defaults. This command will create symbolic links in appropriate etc rc star.d directories, which will start and stop the service automatically according to the run levels specified in your script. So for example, if we do a ls inside etc rc 3.d, that means we are talking about run level 3 and let's see what all files are present inside this. So if we run this command, we got this output which means teamct is not available here. So even if you specify the run levels in the etc init.d script, it will not be reflected here unless we run that command. So as you can see, it is not present here. Now we will run the command sudo update rc.d teamct defaults. Now let us see if it is present inside rc3.d. So I'm just doing tab and see if it is present. So as you can see, teamct is present now. And before running this command, it was not present. So this has added the teamct at required run levels. Now let us see if teamct service is running or not. So as you can see, it is inactive or dead. Let us try to start it. Now let us see the status again. So as you can see, it is active and running. Now we will do a reboot of this system using the command sudo reboot. We will SSH again and we will see if the service gets started automatically or not. So I'm just rebooting the server. It might take some time to be up and running again. Okay, the system is up now, it is asking for the password. 
and we are back into the server now let's see the status it should have started automatically and as you can see it is active and running sometimes if your service is not starting like this you might need to reload the systemcdl daemon using the command sudo systemcdl daemon reload so this is it for this video